The radial heat map with color-coded concentration gives an immediate insight and guides us on what areas to focus on. While radial heat map may not be considered the best practice in data visualization, but they can be visually appealing and draws our attention to the work and make our dashboard stand out. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share how to create this radial heat map in Tableau. Welcome back, my name is Gurpreet and if this is the first time you are visiting my channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you stay up to date with all of my videos. So let's get started. I have recently created a dashboard on crime incidents that were reported in New South Wales for the year 1995 to 2022. And in this particular dashboard I have created a radial heat map to show the trend or the heat map of all the crime incidents reported during that period, where I am showing all the years from 1995 to 2022 in a clockwise direction, where each of this section represent individual months in that particular year. So for example, if we hover over to this particular section or the cell, it represents December 1995 and it shows the crime reported in that year was 47,000. And if we go at the bottom, so these are all the months included in that year. And as we go in the clockwise direction, it shows all the different years for which these crime incidents were reported. So how to create this circular heat map? Well, it's quite simple and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this chart in easy, simple steps. So first of all, for this particular dashboard, I have downloaded the data set for crime incidents reported from this particular government website. And you can go here and simply click on whichever options or whichever way you want to do your analysis. So for this particular demonstration, I'm using incidents by month by LGA. So that's lo local government area. So I will download that. So this will give me a data set for all the crime incidents reported during that period by LGA. Now let's, uh, let's open the Tableau dashboard. And here, let's bring the data set which we have downloaded. So that's this one. And once it's opened and loaded, I will show you what exactly is shown in the data set and how we are going to clean up the data to get the desired results. So if I go back to my existing dashboard, so each of these cells are made up of different points which we are going to use to create these individual cells. So for that we need longitude and latitude. But before I get into that one, let's look at the data set which we have downloaded. So here you can see we have all these different options where we have LGA, offense category, subcategory, and all these months and years. So if you see here, we don't want all the months and years in the columns. So we want it in one column where we have all the month and year from top to bottom. So for that, we need to pivot the data. So what I will do, I will select the column from Jan 1995 and will go to the last month and year. So in this case, it's March 2023. So we will press shift and select those all columns and we will go to this drop down and simply click on pivot. Once we do that you will see here all of these values are now in one column and the pivot field values which is the count of incidents are in this value. So let's go and change the name here. So I want to name it month underscore year. And for pivot field values, I will simply say incident count. Once we have that, now we have month year incident count. We have the subcategories for which we are going to show the incident count, offense category, and the LGA. So now let me show you the radial heat map data which we need. So if I bring it here, you will see here we have X and Y coordinates. And we have the path, so from 1 to 22. So this path is basically the X and Y coordinate which is creating this one cell is comprised of all these 
x and y coordinates so if i go back to this dashboard if you look here let's look at this particular cell and in the tooltip you will see we have path and block so this particular section the block will remain the same but you will see the path value is changing so from 2 3 4 and it will go all the way to 22 so point number 1 and 22 will be overlapping so that's where it starts and its end so that's what here we are showing that we have a path from 1 to 22 and that will make that one seg uh, cell and then we have block id ring and segment so basically ring is the these individual rings so in this case we have 12 rings which represents each month of the year so according to your requirement what you are trying to show in the chart if you are just showing let's say one year or five years and you want to show five years and five rings and 12 uh, months in the segment then you can change the number of segments and years or the rings so in this case i am using 12 rings to represent 12 months and i'm using 28 segment to represent the 28 years from 1995 to 2022 so that's why if you see here in the number um, number sheet here we are showing x and y coordinates we are showing path and then block id and segment we are showing 28 segments and 12 rings so if i go at the bottom you will see these numbers so 28 segments 12 rings we are showing it here so that's what we are trying to show here so now let's bring this data so what we are going to do here we are going to join the segments with the year in the data set and rings with the month because that's what we are doing so these individual rings are the month so we need to join the month from the other data set to the crime data sets but in order to do that we have to make sure we have the numbers or the data set in that format before we start creating the joins or relationship so in this case we want to show the number of rings which is based on the number of years so let's say 1995 that's the first segment 1996 is the second segment then third and fourth we need 28 segments and then we need month as the ring so january as one february as two but here in the data set we don't have that so what we will do first of all i would like to split this column by going to custom split and i want to split it into two columns just based on the space because we have month and year there is a space in between them so let's click ok and you will see the two columns are created one for month and one for year now let's change the name here and i will simply say month and let's change the name here as year so once we do that we got month and year now we want to create another calculated field in order to show the month number so what i will do here is i will create a date part field for month underscore number so why we need that is because we need to join the crime data or the data which i am using in this case with the radial heat map data and in the radial heat map each ring is basically a number and i want to show month as a ring in that radial bar chart so i need month number so i can join the number with number so that's why i created this and press ok and you will see here april is number four so with that calculation you can see what i did here i created a date part calculation which shows us which returns a given date format so in this case it will return the number for the month of this particular date and i have concatenated first of the month with the month and year which we already have so that's what we are using and i will press ok and same way i would like to create another calculation for year so in the year what i need is for each year i need a corresponding integer value for the segment so what i mean by that is so let's create a calculated field and we will say year underscore 
segment. And here, what I'm trying to say here is, so if the year is 1995, then one, if it is 1996, then two, that way these are all my segments which I will be joining with my segment data. So if we see here, so we have segment here. So if we look at this data set, these are the segments. So we have 28 segments. So that's what I'm trying to do it here, one for each year. So you will see here there is an error because the year field which we have created is a string, but I'm using it as an integer. So I will go to the year field here and instead of doing keeping it as a string, I will change it to whole number. And once I do that, my year segments, you will see the number from 1 to 28. So now that we have created this data set, I would like to bring my other data set here, which is a text file, and it will be a radial heatmap.csv file, which I have used. And in this case, I will try to create a relationship. And once I do that, you will see here, when I'm trying to create a relationship, I am not able to see all the calculated field which I created in this particular data set. So in order to work with that, the trick I have used it either I create a new calculated field here again all of them which I don't want to do so what I will do I will remove this and all these calculated fields are here so what I need to do is I will go to this particular sheet and this particular data set so let's say if I bring any field here you will see the data is here I will simply go to this data set and explore the data to CSV so once I do that, I will simply click on this export and we will export the data file. So in this case, I have already exported. So I will go to another workbook. I will create, open a brand new workbook and I will then bring the data set here, the one which I have exported. I have just done that so that in order to avoid creating all new calculation, but ideally we can create a new calculation and do it that way as well. So I will go to text file and here I have created this CSV file, Crime New South Wales CSV. So this have all my calculated fields which I have created. And once it's done, so you will see here year count, month number and year ring, which is year segment basically. So I will change the name here and we have month here and the count. So that's the offense count. Or here I can just change the name as well because while I exported the names were different which I have shown you earlier so this is all the data set which I have created here right so now I will bring the radial heat map and here I will do the join now so I will join the month number with the ring because that's what we need all the months in the ring and I will also create another join based on the year segment so we have 28 segments with the segment here so now before we start creating the dashboard i would like to discuss about how to create these data points for radial heat map so you can either manually create it or there is a really interesting template created by will certain who is the iron was winner for the year 2022 and he had simplified it for us to create this kind of data set using a template so let's go to the template created by world certain and in here in this template you can actually define the number of rings you need number of segments and how many rings you need to skip and the width of each ring so let's look at it so if we need to reduce the number of rings you will see if we just say we need three rings you can see the three rings here and if we need to say number of segments you can increase the number of segments so in our case we need 28 segments so i will select 28 segments and number of rings for each month we need 12 of them so we have all this set up here so this will download and give us all the x and y coordinates for each of these sections and you can also skip the number of rings so that will increase the inner radius of the circle 
So in this case, we can use one or two. So for this example, I've used two. And again, the width of the rings you can increase as well. So in our case, I have used a 2.5 and I have downloaded this data set. So that's what we are looking at here in this particular sheet. So that's another way with which you can create this data set. So once we have the data set, we'll go back to our dashboard and we have made the relationship joints here and we'll go to the sheet. And now it's just creating this radial heat map in few simple steps. So we will first bring the X coordinates, then Y coordinates, and you will see by default, it is aggregating as sum, but we will change it into a dimension for both X and Y coordinates. And then we will change the mark type to polygon. And once we do that, you will see the circles disappear, but that's okay. So we will bring the path into the path mark and we will bring the block ID into the tails mark. And once we do that, we will make sure the path mark, we will need to change it into dimension as well, because by default, it is aggregating as sum. So once we do that, it is created. We just need to make sure we change the color. So let's change the border to gray. And here you go, the radial heat map is created. Now we can change the color coding. So in this case, I will bring the friends count here and I will adjust the colors. So in this case, I would like to use orange blue divergent colors and we can adjust the values. So in this case, I know my end value is around 72 grand. So I will do that and I will reverse the colors. And here you go. You can see the maximum number of cases are in this section and it reduces as we go into the other color areas. So now you can simply go to a dashboard and you can adjust the dimensions or you can simply bring the sheet and you will see the dashboard is created. So it is as easy as it is. So now just to show you how I created this dashboard, if you see this particular dashboard, all the components which you see here, images and background, this is all created in Canva. So how we did that, and I will show you, by just going to Canva app. So here, I created this design in the Canva app. And if you see here, I have designed this background and neomorphic background and images in here. And I will simply place this circular or radial heat map on this particular section. So I have downloaded this image and I will go back to the dashboard and I will remove it from here. And first of all, I will increase the size by 1500 by 1700. That's the size of the image which I have downloaded from Canva. And I will bring the image here and I will choose that image, which is this one and press OK. So now I have that image which we were talking about. Now I will bring my radial heat map as a floating container and I will bring it here. I'll just remove this section and hide the title. I don't want to see the grid lines or any border lines. So I will go here, remove the grid lines for both rows and columns and I will remove the zero lines and I don't need the axis as well. And I will hide X and Y axis. So I will remove the headers. And now I will bring that on top of this particular image, but you will see the background is still white. So I will go to the background for the worksheet and select none. And then I can drag it on top of it and I will try to keep the size consistent and I will put it on top of this one. So by doing a little bit of formatting, you can create a really appealing dashboards the way we created just today. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message or comment in the section below. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.